If you're running an online community, chances are you're focused on the wrong goal. The question I get asked the most is, how do I create more engagement in my community? But I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Engagement isn't the goal. And in this episode, I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna tell you what you should be focused on instead. One of the questions I get asked the most is, how do I create more engagement in my community? And I have a secret for you. Engagement isn't the goal. That's right, engagement isn't the goal. No matter what other people tell you, I want you to get this in your head, that your goal as a community leader or a business owner is not to create more engagement. Now, let me give you some context. When people are asking me about this, they are typically talking about engagement inside of their discussion forum, their Facebook group or their circle community or their Mighty Networks or whatever it might be. They're not talking about engagement in the true sense of the word, which is how you're engaging with every aspect of the course or the membership or coaching program that you may have. But when we're talking about the kind of engagement that people are asking me for, which is more engagement inside of their group or their forum, I want you to realize that that should not be your focus. No matter how fun having high engagement in your group may seem, no matter how many people like to tout about their engagement metrics inside of their group, it's not the goal. Now, does that mean that you don't track it? No, I track it with all of my clients. It's an important indicator metric for us. But in and of itself, engagement shouldn't be our focus. And I'm gonna give you three reasons why engagement is not the goal, and then I'm gonna tell you what is. So let's start with reason number one. The first reason that engagement isn't the goal for your community is because engagement isn't always positive. Now, if you run any type of community, whether that be a Facebook group, whether that be a membership community or whatever it might be, you know that high engagement doesn't always mean that good things are happening in your group. If you have walked through a season of difficulty where people were questioning a change that you had going on in the community or where somebody posted about something political or religious maybe, that is what we would call a bomb in the community and generated a whole lot of discussion. Maybe somebody post a picture of like their cat and that was mangled by a dog. I don't know what they posted, but it got a lot of engagement. It may have been completely unrelated to the topic at hand, or it may have even been something negative and divisive that was causing problems and conflict in your community. So when that happens, does your engagement go up in your group? Yes, it does. But is that an indicator of a healthy community? No, it's not. So remember that engagement isn't the goal because engagement isn't always positive. When you see your engagement stats go up in your community, I want you to ask the question, why? What is causing an increase in engagement? Because it's not always the sign of something good. So the second reason that engagement isn't the goal is because engagement doesn't always lead to progress. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been a part of a lot of communities that I've engaged in over time. I've spent my days chatting away, making friends, answering polls, posting gifts, and I ain't making any progress in that community whatsoever. I call this procrastinating. It's a beautiful way of doing work inside of a community that makes me feel like I'm working on my business or making progress, but I'm not actually doing the hard work that requires my brain to think and for me to get strategic and for me to get messy and for me to test things and do new things. Now, most of us in our programs, we're having people stretch what they think is possible for them or we're teaching them a new skill. You know, you may have an entertainment-based community, but for most of us, We're trying to help them make progress in one way or the other. Being in your community alone is usually not how people are going to make progress. So what does that mean? That means that focusing on having an engaging community can steer you and your team in the wrong direction when it comes to the kinds of content you're posting inside of your community. A lot of people out there who are Facebook group strategists or community strategists will give you a list of posts that you need to be doing in your community. 
They'll say, these are your engagement posts or these are posts that you can do to get conversation going. Well, I can post about how cute my kids are and that's not actually going to help you make any progress in the community. Now, I'm not saying you don't wanna post about those things. They are great ways to create connection from you to your community, for your community to connect with each other. There are lots of great ways to do that around posts inside of your community. But is that helping people make more progress? It's not. So engagement doesn't always lead to more progress. And if we focus on the goal being engagement, we can lose sight of the fact that some of the posts that get the most engagement don't actually help people move forward. So if you were to look at your stats from your community over the last month, and you identified maybe the top four or five posts that got the most engagement. And you said, hey, these are really engaging posts. Our goal is to increase the engagement in this group. Let's do more posts like this. Then you're not looking at it through the lens of progress. You're not looking at it through the lens of, is this helping people achieve the transformation that they're paying me for? And so you run the risk of doing posts in your community just because. You're doing a, hey, let's all share our Instagram because you know that'll get you a lot of comments and get you in the algorithm and get you on Facebook's good side, right? You're doing a, let's show our pets that we work with because it gets a lot of engagement. Now, again, those things are not wrong, but that shouldn't be the sole focus. That shouldn't be the metric that we're focused on because then we can lose sight of the purpose of that community. And the purpose of your community is not just to create connection. It's not just to have engagement. It's to support people in getting to the destination that you're promising that your program is going to take them to, okay? So first, engagement isn't always positive. Second, engagement doesn't lead to progress. And third, engagement can be a distraction. Here's what I know to be true. Social media platforms and even discussion forums are created to give me a nice hit of dopamine and serotonin every time that I join. It makes me feel good to get a heart or a like. It makes me feel really good if I get a comment, right? But that can be a distraction for people. They can go to your community to hang out, to socialize, and not actually be doing the work. We kind of talked about this a little bit with the procrastinate working. But what happens is, is they may stay in your community for a short amount of time because it's fun, because they get their dopamine hit because they like the people there. But when it comes time to renew, let's say you have a membership and they're coming up on their annual renewal and they're evaluating the value of your community and if they should stay. Now, if they've built really, really tight connections in your community, it's possible that that will outweigh everything and that will keep them around. But if your community promises a certain transformation and they look at the progress that they've made over the last year, and they recognize that they haven't actually made progress, that instead they spent hours a day hanging out in your Facebook group, do you think that they're going to renew? Probably not. So you wanna be really careful when you structure your community, your group, your space where you're gonna have your community hanging out on a regular basis, that you're asking yourself, how is this supporting people and making progress towards the goal? Because that's going to shape your community to make sure that your community isn't just the space where people hang out and have fun. There are lots of free places to do that online. There are so many free places online and in person where people can have those kinds of communities. But the beautiful thing about your community, the unique thing about your community, is that it's a community of like-minded people working towards a similar cause. Go back to episode one, right? Working towards a similar cause that are making progress towards that together. So never lose focus of that being the purpose of your community. So engagement should not be the focus for three reasons. It isn't always positive. It doesn't always lead to progress and it can ultimately be a distraction. And so what is the goal? What do you want to focus on? Well, I would argue that you want to focus on progress and something that helps with progress is activation. How are we activating people in our program to help them make progress towards the goal and help people get results? How are we making sure that they're actively consuming the content? 
So when I start working with a new client, we always start by creating a KPI dashboard. This is where they're going to be tracking their metrics on a weekly and a monthly basis. And usually what I find is that clients are tracking Facebook metrics, but they aren't tracking metrics where their content lives. So they're not tracking any consumption or activation metrics. They don't know the last time somebody logged into a site. They don't know if people have completed onboarding or not. They don't know how many people are showing up for their live calls every month, but they know how many people are engaging in their group, probably because that's easier to track and it's more fun. But what I want you to get focused on are the metrics that are indicators of progress that show that people are activated and consuming and using and making progress with the things that you're teaching inside of your community. That, in the end, is what's going to matter. People don't leave communities when they're making progress. So let's make progress the goal, not engagement. Now, don't stop measuring engagement. It is an important indicator for your business. It's something that you want to track over time, and that can be a red flag for things that maybe are not going good in your group. But I don't want you to make it the focus. Progress is the focus. All right. I want you to let me know what you think about this, because I know you're probably listening to this going, but everybody talks about engagement being the goal and everybody talks about how to create more engagement in your community. So what do you think? Does this resonate with you? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.